Hey, this is Kale, the Venom Manager with the Phoenix Herpological Sanctuary, and today we are having a really cool event happen. We are collaborating with the Arizona Science Center on a new uh, event that they're going to be having. It's a traveling exhibit called The Power of Poison. And so this is actually Zoe. She's one of our Gila monsters, and we're going to be taking her down there today. Uh, Zoe got her name from one of the monsters on Sesame Street, Zoe, which is a nice monster, even though our Zoe is called a Gila monster. Monster. She's a nice monster. Okay, so you leave Gila monsters alone and they will leave you alone. So this is going to be a really cool collaboration and uh, you're going to get to watch us as we take her down there and set everything up for this new exhibit. So if you have time, check it out at the Arizona Science Center, The Power of Poison. So what we're doing here is we're going to be uh, trimming her claws right now. Uh, before we take her to the Arizona Science Center. Uh, now, we don't actually ever hold Gila monsters like this. When we're moving them, we're always using snake tongs. It's the safest way. But uh, this is the only way that we can safely trim her claws. And so this is something that we have to do on a regular basis. And uh, we actually use cat claw trimmers, uh, just like you use for a cat. So Casey's going to hold her gently there but firmly enough that she doesn't uh, bite me. Their claws are a lot like dog claws. Uh, they, they wear down naturally from digging and things, but because they don't dig as much in captivity, uh, we have to trim their claws for them. Give them a little monster petty. Yep, so this is going to be a Manny Petty. Right there is good. Ooh, that one's long. Already. There we go. Beautiful. She's a little sweetheart. All right. Thank you, Zoe. Good luck. All right. Add that to our resume. All right. So we've got Zoe the Gila Monster in back, and we are heading to the Arizona Science Center. So transporting the Gila Monster. Not very many people can say they do that for a living. Uh, one of my favorite parts of my job as a vendor manager is working with Gila monsters and rattlesnakes and cobras and all that. But I'm just super excited to be able to be part of this collaboration, to be able to help them get a Gila monster for this really cool display that they're going to be doing for the next six months. Okay, here we go, Zoe. And snake tongs and this. Next step is, is we're going to get the Gila Monster enclosure that's right behind me. We're going to get it all cleaned up, uh, sanitize it. Uh, this is a traveling exhibit that's been used a lot in other different, different states. And then we're going to set up the habitat. So we're going to put in a substrate. We're going to put a hide, you know, water bowl, heat lamp, get everything ready. So we're very excited to be part of this and, and get uh, Zoe, our really cool Gila Monster, on display. My name is Andrew. Uh, I'm very excited to be taking care of Zoe, our Gila monster here. So once a week, I'll be taking care of her enclosure and changing out her water and picking up any spot cleans that I might have to do and feeding her once a week. So I'm very excited to be doing that with her. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. We are excited to collaborate with the Arizona Science Center. From February through August this year, the Power of Poison exhibit will be open to the public, so be sure to check out their website for tickets and more information at www.azscience.org.